Hello everybody. High Neon is a new connect pedal that's part of the Chinese New Year's event. This is a great event with lots of rewards as well as running at half stamina at the time of this video. This is a good event for farming rune shards for awakening your characters. You can get dark, earth, and light runes for multi as well as fire runes for hosting. The trader also has a lot going on this time around with the hide neon tokens being able to get you two different pieces of gear. With one being the New Year's fireworks and the other one being the mantle of neon. The New Year's fireworks are a ranged attack weapon, magic attack weapon, which is 20% fire magic attack damage for five times the two enemies with the lowest speed. And the mantle of neon is a gear restriction, is the, it's a costume for Sigean Neon Hydrun, even though it just makes him look like the neon. Um, it's 100% dark attack damage and 100% fire attack damage and magic defense 20% down for two turns to the three nearest enemies. And that's a costume, so it's a recommended to farm this if you use that character. Um, the other tokens you can get are the New Year's Charms, which you can use to get Reforged Knives, Reforged Rings, Crystal Keys, as well as Skill Knives and Skill Runes. And you can also get the New Year's Envelopes, which allow you to get the, um, the new character uh, Cartographer Carlos, which is a reskin of Carlos for this particular event. And the other two, you have to do the um, Garm, Gala Garm event, which I have covered in a different video. And let's talk about the actual battle itself. So, he is really not all that hard. Um, all you really have to concern yourself with as far as Stygian Neon is, is his Dark Resistance. So, basically you're just going to want to stack up on everything else that's not Dark Damage and just hit him with Light, Fire, and then you can also use Earth and Water. Um... He has two earth crystals as well as a light and a dark crystal. You don't necessarily have to crush those crystals, but it's probably recommended that you do because you'll take less damage. It'll just make the whole fight a lot easier if you go ahead and crush them. And he also has a weird healing shield, but it's negligible. Don't even worry about the healing shield. Just hit him with everything you got and you should be okay. So let's do the fight and show you what it looks like. And here we go with the uh, Hide Neon Six Star Strikes. So he's really not too too bad to fight. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video, you just have to concentrate on not doing dark damage to him. So um, the best is light and fire, but water and earth work pretty good as well. So it, it's just hit him with everything you got that's not dark and you should be okay as long as you have the resistance to survive his attacks and if you're strong enough and have good enough healing gear you won't even have to worry about that now he does have a kind of healing shield but it's it's negligible at best I mean just continually hit him and you won't even have to worry about his healing and uh, I apologize for my voice throughout this video. I've actually, um, I'm getting it back now, but I, a couple of days ago, I couldn't hardly even talk. So, that's why I haven't done any videos lately. And there we go, he's almost gone now. Getting close to half of his health left on the last health bar. Again, his healing shield really doesn't heal all that much. 
Is it not enough to counter the attacks that I'm doing and my uh, other teammates are doing too? And there you have it. We beat him within two minutes. Looks like I got some decent rewards too. I got a couple of fire crystals for hosting and a couple of the dark and uh, one of the earth ones. So the damage output would be not too bad, not too bad. I came in second on that one. And that's going to be it for this video on Hide Neon Strikes. And the surrounding um, Chinese New Year event. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe and give me a like. And have a good day. Thank you.